morning. It's nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Today we are going to be working on the wiring and the hardware for this awesome guitar that we're building for Colleen. My sister Colleen is in the musical Waitress on Broadway right now, and so I'm building this guitar to say congratulations to her. I'm super proud of her, and I hope she really likes this unique gift that I'm working on for her. Today, we have our guitar, it's all painted. We have our neck, but it's missing all of the hardware, so we're gonna put that in today. And the lacquer that I put on the body of the guitar can't be sanded or polished quite yet, so I'm gonna put it all together, make sure that everything works, and then I'll probably take it all apart again in a few days when I can sand it and really get it going. It's dry, but I am waiting for it to harden completely. It takes about 10 to 14 days before I can do all the polishing on it. So I'm gonna work with it as it is right now, put it all together, and I'll probably take it all apart again, to be honest, and polish it once we reach that threshold. But for today, let's get started on putting in some hardware. The first thing I'm gonna put on are the tuners. These keep the strings where they belong, and also you turn them to change the tuning of the strings. That's why they're called tuners. I'm not sure if it's the heat or nervousness, but I am sweating like crazy. It's definitely the heat. Right now, I'm about to put the neck on the guitar. I have not seen this guitar complete yet, so this will be the first time that I see the two pieces put together, and hopefully they mesh in a beautiful symphony of wonderfulness, but we'll see. All right, the neck is on. Look at it, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty guitar. It's so nice. Now it's time to work on the electronics, which is gonna be another new thing for me. I'm learning a lot of new stuff building this guitar. I've done some soldering in the past, mainly for armatures, for stop motion animation. Never something that actually needs to conduct electricity. So it'll be interesting to see if this works out, but I'm excited to try. I'm excited to learn something new. Hopefully I don't electrocute myself. It's gonna be a good day. I got stuck on the last little bit of soldering because the wires that were connected to the control panel didn't match up with the wires in the description. And that's sort of a common problem with these kits. So I was kind of expecting it and I had to do some guesswork, which means I don't know if this guitar is actually going to play. So I have to test it. The way we test it is we're going to take one string, string it up, plug it in and try and play it and see if that string makes the right kind of sound. For this experiment, I'm going to be using this little travel amp that uh, Colleen actually got me for Christmas, so it's kind of fitting. Okay, here it goes. Let's turn it on and see what happens. So far, nothing. I wired it right, I think. That sound's coming out of here. Okay, let's try it. So that is, should be this pickup here. So this is what's making the noise. And if I switch this to here, should be both pickups. And here, it's just this pickup. I'm gonna raise these up a little bit so that they're closer to the string, but I'm trying to decide if I should string the whole thing up, make sure it works, 
take it apart, put it in storage for 10 days, and then come back and do the finished polish, or if I should take it apart now without trying it out completely. Oh, it's so tempting to do it right now. I think I'm gonna put the whole thing together. I'm gonna put it together, play it a little bit, feel how it feels, and then take it apart. So you might have noticed that I strung the two outside strings first. It's the first string and the sixth string. And I did those first so that I could see sort of where the strings are ending up and make sure that the neck is aligned properly. You want the string to be about the same distance away from the edge here as they are up here. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of problems here. So this is good. Because otherwise I would have needed to add a shim to the neck and it would be like a whole thing that I don't know and wouldn't be a great thing for me to do on my first guitar. Maybe down the line I could do something like that, but I'm really happy that I don't have to do it with this guitar. All six strings are on. I'm gonna be using this 12 radius gauge here to make sure that the strings are all lined up because right now they're kind of doing this. This string here can go this far up before it touches the gauge even. It's way down there. Most of those adjustments will be made right here on this area here, which is called the bridge. I've gone through and tuned all the strings. Now I have to check the intonation. And what that means is I'm gonna play a string, make sure it's in tune, then hit it right here on the 12th fret which should make the same note, different octave, same note. And if it doesn't, that means I need to adjust. This little bar either needs to go this way or this way. And then I retune it and try again. And I'm gonna do that a few different times just to try and get this as intonated as possible. And then the guitar will be ready to play and to try out. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's a beautiful guitar. and did all the electric wiring for. There's a weird little... The electronics are working, working good. There's a little bit of buzz. That's typical with these types of pickups. There's like a little bit of buzz inside the, uh, inside the amp there. Uh, this first fret seems to be like maybe in the wrong place or something. Just doesn't sound good. I'm not sure what's going on up here, but when I play open chords, they sound a little out of tune. The strings are in tune. I'm worried that maybe the fret up at the top is, uh, is messed up. Also, I think the nut up here needs to be filed down a little bit. It'll give it a little bit of a, like a closer action to the guitar, and so it won't change the sound as much when you press down on, on there, because if I press light enough, Sounds all right, but if I press any harder, it really, really takes it out of tune. So I don't know if that's if that's a nut issue or what, but I'm gonna take some measurements on my other guitars because I like the way they're set up, and then uh, try and mimic that with this guitar. But overall, I'm a, I'm shocked that I made a guitar. That this guitar works. Uh, this is the first of many. I hope. I mean, it's a guitar. It's a custom guitar with a custom made headstock it's a it's a it's a finished guitar i can't believe <laughs> i can't believe this so cool thank you so much for watching today be sure to subscribe to the channel i'm going to be making guitars for a bunch of people i'm going to give this one to colleen very soon i'm very excited to see 
what she thinks of it because I have kept this a secret from her. She has no idea that I'm bringing this to her in New York when I go to see her show, Waitress. And um, it's gonna be fun to see her response to that. So be sure to subscribe. Make sure you've got your notifications turned on. Like this video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time.